Hey everybody, it's Clark with the Down South IT Podcast and I got another unboxing video for you. This one is going to be for the TP-Link Casa Wi-Fi Smart Plug. A uh, little backstory on this one. I had originally gotten a couple of smart plugs. I did the, the review on the Wemo Smart Plug a while back. Uh, but I had also got one from Lowe's and I was using their Iris Smart Plug. Lowe's actually decided to fold the iris program completely so that plug is no longer working anymore so i was in the market for another one and i went ahead and picked this one up and it seemed like a pretty good deal it was a two pack for 29 bucks 30 bucks something like that so about 15 a piece which actually really really isn't that bad you know all things considered they got a lot of smart plugs and stuff like that are about 30 dollars a piece so it was about half that price so we'll see how they work, you know, over the course of the next couple of months and stuff, and we'll go from there. And besides the unboxing video, we'll go ahead and get it connected up to the Google uh, Assistant, which says right here on the box that it works with. So we'll we'll find out. It does with Alexa also, and I'm assuming the process is pretty similar. So if you have the Alexa, the ecosystem, yours would probably work just about the same as mine will. So. Well, the only thing that I did preface before this is actually just download download their app uh, on my phone and get it set up. You do have to create an account with them, but that's the only thing that I did before I started the video. So let's go ahead and get started and see what comes in it. Packaging's kind of basic, you know, for the, especially for the TP-Link type stuff. Uh, let's see, remote access, compact design, scheduling, away mode. And the Wemo plug actually does the away mode too. So let's see, remote access, scheduling, compact design, and away mode. So you can schedule it going on and off. The away mode, basically, it just turns it on and off randomly. So it makes it look like you're home, but you're not. Let's see. Download the CASA app, which I already did. Two, plug in the outlets and configure the smart plug. So. According to this, it seems like the the setup is going to be fairly easy. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what happens. Let's see what this looks like. All right. All right. So we have a box within a box. Get rid of that. Okay. Apparently, I want you to go. Review it on Amazon if you can, and a few other little things. Let's see. Apparently, they have a smart camera also, so an indoor camera, and it works with the the same app. So I have ca enough cameras, so I won't have to deal with that. Okay, here's the quick start guide. Download, connect your device to your mobile network, launch it, and configure. So, and whenever you're doing these things too, it always will, uh, you know, a little troubleshooting and what all of the, the, the lights mean and that kind of thing too. But whenever you're connecting something like this on a smart home system, whatever network you happen to be on, whenever you're on your phone, that's the network that that device will connect to. So if you're using two different ones, you got to make sure you're on the one that you want that device to be on so there's the two plugs right there look like it's pretty pretty stout oh lord they're heavy but their size are pretty heavy tp link logo three prong plug button on the side feels pretty good kind of weird though because it's it's almost like the button is sloped it's like this side is almost flush with the front, but this side has kind of a groove in it, and you can feel it. So that's kind of kind of funky. And that's your serial number and your MAC address. Okay. Same thing with that one. Like I said, these actually... Oh, that might be why it's sloped that way, because I don't know if... It's kind of hard to see it. Because it's actually sloped this way on the side and on that side. And the button actually slopes the opposite way for that. So it's like the front got the big slope here, almost flush here. 
but the button's opposite. So, okay. A little different. Alright. And nothing else in there. Everything else looks pretty good. So, while we're, waiting, while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and actually have a little power strip here so we can get these fired up and going. So, get that plugged in, get that plugged in, and you can see the amber lights right there on the corner. Actually, I kind of like the little corner lights like that, that way, we got blue and amber, which according to their paperwork, it says it's configuring. So, apparently at this point, they're configuring, I don't know what they're configuring yet, but because they're not connected to any kind of network or anything. And they're probably waiting for me to get everything set up on the phone, which we're going to go ahead and do right now. And we'll kind of get that on one side and the phone on the other. All right, let's see if I can do this. All right, so you're going to look for the CASA app. Which, where is it? There we go, right there. Brings up. And like I said, I already just downloaded this earlier and did the uh, the config for, you know, created my account and everything with with the, with the TP-Link. So it has that already. Now we're going to go ahead and add devices. And the bottom right here, I know it's kind of hard to read. Add device, add a group. I'm gonna add a device. And we want to do the smart plug. Okay, power up your smart plug. Plug the Wi-Fi. Turn, turn solid orange. Okay. Well, it's still configuring, so they're not doing that. Well, let's press next and see what happens. Check the Wi-Fi light. Look at the right side of the smart plug. Is it blinking orange and blue? Yes, orange and blue. Okay, so I picked up both smart plugs. Good. Okay, we found more than one smart plug. Please select one to continue. We'll just do the first one. Okay, and yes, we want to do that one. We're good. Join. Okay, so we're putting them on my network. And as you can see, this one's blinking. And now that it's solid blue, it's connected to the network. So that one's connected. Cool. So it's going to search again, and then we're going to have to pick the other one. Come on, be nice. Okay, let's give this one a name. We'll just name it. Num we'll just name them one and two. Just for, I'll go back and change it later once I actually put them in, in their final place. And choose your icon. The plug looks good to me. Okay, that one's ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and plug up. Okay, no. Alright, so now it's going to pull in a firmware update, which this isn't unusual for this kind of thing too. Once, no telling how long they've been sitting on the shelves at the store and stuff like that, so they're going to update when they first connect to a network. Hopefully this doesn't take too, too long. Okay, update is now complete. And done. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and add the second one. Add a device. Come back up again. Smart plug. Next. That one is also orange and blue. 
Yeah, it should only pull that first one, that, this top one in now. Since the other one's already on the network. Unable to connect your smart. Okay, we're going to try again. this one on the network and as you can see it's blinking blue so it's connecting and now it's solid Okay, now it's connected, so we'll just call this one number two. Get that one back. Icon looks good. All right, cool. All right, now this one also is going to update the firmware. All right, now the update's done. Come on now, be nice. There we go. All right, so update is complete. There we go. Both are in the system and ready to rock and roll. So we should be able to turn that off. And there you go. Turned off. Turn off. On. On. Cool. All right. So those are connected. All right. Let's go ahead and get them hooked up to the Google Home side for the Google Assistant. That way I can use them with my voice. And I'll pull these out the way since we know they're connected now. And we're just going to focus on the phone part. Jigger that a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, so we get into Google Home. Okay, we're going to add, set up a device, and it's already on a service. So we're basically just going to link the TP Link service, and we're going to link the TP Link service with the uh, the Google software. So we come through, it's fine. Good, good lord, I think I added a whole bunch more stuff since the last time I did this. Alright, let's see. We're going to be TP Link Casa. That's what we want. Okay, so we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and do my login here real quick. Okay, we're going to authorize and All right, let's go back and see what happened, see what it came in. All right, cool. Uh, there they are. There's the two plugs. Awesome. So they're linked. And I said they're not in a home and you can actually go in once you're finished with these. You can add to a room, but you're going to add to your home first. Next, and uh, okay, and you can put it wherever. So we'll put them both in the kitchen since why not? Okay, so the device was moved. And do the same thing. Add to a room, home. Next. Move device and put it in the kitchen. All right. Cool. So now I put everything in the kitchen. So let's double check and see if we can turn them on with Google. So they're already saying that they're on, which if we come right here again, you can see they're blue, so they are on right now. If we turn it off, there we go. Turns on, cool. All right, now we should try. We should be able to do it with the Google Assistant also. Hey Google, turned off number one outlet. Here you go. 
Da. Turn off outlet number one. Sometimes it's a little funky too. If you don't have it named where you actually have it or what it is, then it, it's hard to pick it up. So it may not do it while we're on here, but we'll, we'll get it. Turn off one. Okay, turn there it off is. the one. Turn on one. Okay, there it is. turning on the one. Cool. All right. There we go. We're all set up. And that's all she wrote. All right, guys. Hopefully, if you decide that you want to get a couple of smart plugs like that, they're not very hard to set up. It's just you got to make sure you're on the right network whenever you do set them up the first time. Other than that, they're really not too bad. And linking them to Google or Alexa is just as easy as what I did here. So thank you all again for watching. If you all need anything, don't forget to email me at downsouthit at gmail.com. You can hit me up on the Facebook page, or you can also just drop me a line on the website, downsouthitpodcast.com. I'll have this video up there a little bit later, so that way y'all can check it out. And uh, I'll also have it on the YouTube channel. So thank you guys again for listening for, and for watching. If y'all need anything, let me know. Hope y'all have a great day. Thank y'all very much.